Welcome to Slide Up Lift. Today we'll show you how to create this seemingly endless slide that unfolds as you present. To save time, you can even download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to learn this PowerPoint magic yourself, keep watching. Start with a fresh PowerPoint slide without any text on it. Head to the shape menu and choose the rectangle. Draw a rectangle on the blank space. Right click the rectangle and choose format shape. Under fill pick solid fill and choose a color you like. We've used a dark blue shade. You can click the little arrow next to text color and choose more colors to enter custom hex codes. Next, go to the Insert tab, click Picture, and choose from File to import your design elements. Arrange them on the slide and adjust their positions to create a visually appealing layout. You can even add a large image that complements your topic like this cool robot we're using in this presentation about the evolution of AI. Let's add a title so our audience knows what the presentation is about. Go to Insert and then Text Box. Type your text. Adjust the color to your liking. We're going with white and cyan. And change the font family to something cool like by Jamjury Semable. Make sure your text is neatly positioned. We even adjusted our vertical guide to line up with the robot's arm for better alignment later on. To make a copy of the first slide, just hit Ctrl D. Get rid of your previous slide's main element and title, but keep the background design the same. Let's build a road like element. Go to insert and click the shapes icon. Choose this curved line shape. Draw it like so. Change its width to 80 points and make it white. Duplicate this shape with Ctrl D and adjust its width to 60 points. Color it with our base color. Duplicate it again to create a thin white line, this time with one point width. Change the type of line to dashed line. Change the color to white. Now adjust the line all three shapes up perfectly in the center. Shift these shapes onto the slide, bringing them to the center and stretching them downwards. Also, extend the upper end slightly. It's time to add in more image elements. Place them on the slide to fill any empty space and provide a bit more context about the presentation. Include smaller shapes on the road itself to act as pointers. Try to keep these evenly spaced on the road. Let's add some text details. Choose a cool font family like Thy Jamjury Medium. Use contrasting colors for headings and subheadings. We're going with cyan and white as they complement this theme. Then change the font. Or adjust the text size. Then position them along the road, aligning them to the left and right based on their location.
Here comes the secret ingredient for our long slide effect. Add text and images for the next few slides, but make sure to place them below the actual slide area and aligned with the guide we used earlier, the one marking the robot shape's position. Essentially, we're hiding these elements for now. Zoom out for a broader view, select all the images, shapes, and text you've added so far. Now zoom back in and deselect the moving components by holding control while clicking. Finally, group all the selected elements using control G. This group will become our moving timeline. Let's duplicate the second slide again using control D. Click on the group of elements we created and drag them upwards while holding shift to maintain alignment. We only want the first few points showing on this slide. Repeat this process for the next few slides, only revealing the points you want your audience to see at each stage. To bring it all together, we'll use the morph transition. But first, you have to link the title slide to the second slide. Copy the entire group of elements onto the title slide and move it just out of sight. Now, simply go to the Transitions tab and choose Morph. Repeat this for each slide, applying a Morph transition to create a smooth panning effect. And your slideshow is ready. Let's see what it looks like. You can also skip the hassle of creating the slides from scratch and simply download them from Slide Up Lift. Check out the link in the description to get them now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.